Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The stock prices of American chip companies have fallen sharply, Intel's stock price has fallen by 20%, and Qualcomm has begun to show its strength to Huawei. The chip war has caused huge losses to American companies, but it has also brought new business opportunities to the Chinese chip industry. From the decline in the stock prices of American companies to the rise of Chinese companies, Buffett has also noticed this, and this chip drama is being played out thrillingly. In August 2024, a major earthquake occurred in the U.S. semiconductor industry. The chip giants that were once in the limelight are now in the limelight, while people are declining. Their stock prices fell by 20%, falling from the altar. Qualcomm and AMD, two former star companies, are also sighing, and their stock prices have fallen by more than 15%. The story started a few years ago. At that time, the US government instructed the world to ban the Chinese chip industry. The response of American companies was to stop chip supply and block technology, as if to uproot the Chinese chip industry. They thought that this would keep their position of chip hegemony, but they didn't know that this was tantamount to shooting themselves in the foot. First, China is the world's largest semiconductor market. A large part of the chips of American companies must be sold to China. This ban directly blocked their financial path, resulting in inventory backlogs and a sharp decline in productivity. Take Intel as an example. In the second quarter of 2024, sales of data centers and artificial intelligence departments fell 43% year-on-year, hitting a record low. This is a typical case of self-destruction. Secondly, without China, a powerful competitor, the innovation motivation of American companies has been greatly weakened. In the past, Chinese companies have been trying to catch up with American companies in the chip industry, which has put tremendous pressure on American companies. This pressure forces them not only to continuously increase their R&D investment, but also to launch more advanced products. However, after losing their competitive advantage in China, American companies began to become lazy and the pace of innovation slowed down significantly. This is like a long-distance runner suddenly finding that there is no one chasing behind, and the speed naturally slows down. The worst-case scenario is that the U.S. government acts capriciously, causing investors to lose confidence in the U.S. economy. First, suppress Chinese companies and then seek cooperation. This capricious approach makes investors not know where the future will go, and they can only vote with their feet. It's like a boss who changes his mind frequently, employees will naturally panic and efficiency will naturally decline. In the United States, when the Federal Reserve, Fed, began to add fuel to the fire, the semiconductor industry was in full swing. In order to control high inflation, the Fed was forced to raise interest rates continuously, resulting in the repatriation of the US dollar and tightening liquidity in the global market. Due to overvaluation, US technology stocks became the target of selling. They are like skyscrapers that are suddenly hit by strong winds of course they are shaky. In August 2024, China's leading semiconductor equipment manufacturer, AMEC, announced a gratifying news. The core components of its self-developed etching machine have achieved 100% localization. This is undoubtedly a strong boost to China's chip industry. Against this backdrop, Qualcomm, the once invincible American chip giant, has also begun to humbly seek cooperation. In Qualcomm's latest financial report in August 2024, Alex Rogers, president of Qualcomm's technology business, publicly stated that although there are technical differences between the two, Qualcomm has a very strong desire to continue cooperating with Chinese companies and has publicly expressed its hope to continue cooperating with Chinese companies and publicly expressed its hope to continue cooperating with Chinese companies. A few years ago, few people would believe these words. We know that Qualcomm actively participated in Vank's suppression of Chinese chip companies at the time. They not only cut off chip shipments, 
but also encouraged other companies to join the sanctions team. It can be said that no effort was spared. Today, his attitude has changed 180 degrees, which makes people feel mixed. Qualcomm's move is basically powerless. Having lost China, the world's largest smartphone market, Qualcomm's performance naturally plummeted. Data shows that in the second quarter of 2024, Qualcomm's chip shipments fell 25% year-on-year, mainly due to the loss of the Chinese market. This is like a restaurant losing its largest customer base. In addition, the rise of China's chip industry has also brought unprecedented pressure to Qualcomm. In the past, the technological level of Chinese chip companies was relatively backward, and Qualcomm could easily make high profits by relying on its technological advantages. But in recent years, China's chip industry has developed rapidly, and a group of excellent chip developers with technical levels comparable to, or even exceeding Qualcomm have emerged. They are like generals who realize that they cannot underestimate the strength of their opponents and will naturally change their attitudes. Qualcomm also sees great potential for cooperation with Chinese companies. China has a huge market and a complete industrial chain, which is an extremely attractive temptation for any chip company. Cooperation with Chinese companies can not only help Qualcomm regain its lost market share, but also provide valuable technical cooperation opportunities, which is crucial to Qualcomm's future development. However, Qualcomm's show of goodwill does not mean that Chinese companies are willing to forget the accusations and accept the accusations. After all, although Qualcomm joined China's crackdown, it did not do so calmly. Now, in order to make up, Qualcomm must also show more sincerity. This is like offending your friend and wanting to repair the relationship, of course, it takes more effort. It is not just American companies that have suffered losses in this chip war. The stock god, Buffett, has not been silent either. As we all know, Buffett has always been an advocate of value investing and generally does not get involved in technology stocks. However, the rise of China's chip industry seems to have made Buffett rethink his investment strategy. All this shows that in the increasingly fierce global technology competition, the United States is no longer a spectator. With huge market potential, complete industrial chain and unswerving spirit of innovation, China is becoming a force that cannot be ignored. This is like a marathon runner who is far ahead at the start and suddenly finds that the runners behind have caught up. Of course, China's chip industry has made great progress, but there is still a certain gap compared with the global development level. There is still a long way to go, and China needs to continue to work hard and constantly overcome technical difficulties. This is like a student who has made good progress, but to become a truly first-class talent, he still needs to continue to learn and develop. In general, the chip war not only subverted the original industrial pattern, but also made people realize the fierceness and complexity of technological competition. From the plummeting stock prices of American companies to Qualcomm's well-intentioned gesture of cooperation, to the rise of China's chip industry, all the connections are full of drama. Today, this drama continues and shows how the future will develop. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area.